Hey guys, welcome back to another Was Another Transfer episode. Um, on today's episode, we are talking all things Kama Billet. Um, um, reports and news and all sorts of things are claiming that Kama Billet could be on his way back to Mamalodi Sundowns. Um, but Kama Billet has put out a statement regarding his future on an SABC morning live interview. Um, let's listen to what Kama has to say. Chiefs fans are quite worried, uh, Karma, about whether you're going to be staying at Chiefs for the long run. There's been loads of reports. Your comments on that about uh, staying at Kaiser Chiefs? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, I'm contracted to Kaiser Chiefs. I have to honour the contract. Um, they have to tell me my next move. <laughs> they have to tell you your next move. They have to tell me my next move. <laughs> They have to tell you your next move. Mm. What's going to happen? Uh, can we look forward to some goals from you on Saturday? I'm looking forward to, to, to win the match with the, with the, with the, with the club and uh, just to do as much as I can, even if I don't score, if someone scores, it makes me happy. Yeah, well, you're the only man. Guys, let's, let's really break down this transfer. Kama Billiard back to Mamalodi Sundowns. Why would Kama Billiard move back to Sundowns after he just left a season ago? He's just been at um, Kazi Chiefs for a season and i know he left mamalodi sundowns um in a very bad state as um his relationship broke down with um head coach pizzo mosimane even pizzo has been speaking about kama in a bad way in the media here and there um i i know last season there was a game when kama won the man of the match and pizzo's comment was what did kama do during the match but um, um, Kaiser Chiefs have come out and, and, and made a statement with their um, communication manager saying that there's virtually zero chance of Kama Billet returning to my Melody Sundowns. Um, let me quote him. He said, Kama Billet is going nowhere. He's Chiefs property and we're not negotiating with Sundowns for Kama Billet. There's nothing. And then... Another report um, or quote came from Kama Billiard's agent, uh, Mike Ngombeni. Um, let me quote him. Um, he says, I don't know anything about that. I'm not negotiating with the club regarding my agent, uh, regarding my player. The only thing I know that Kama Billiard is happy at Kaiser Chiefs. And I, can, I couldn't imagine Kaiser Chiefs letting Kama Billiard go back to Sundowns. Can you imagine that happening? Um, can you imagine the fans? Even myself, I can't negotiate the deal because otherwise the fans will destroy me. I don't know. But if the player wants to go in the club, wants him to go, that's another issue. So those were the statements made by Kama Billet's agent. And I mean, Kama Billet wouldn't want to go back to Sundowns as Chiefs already turned down um, a mega bid from... Um, Egyptian giants um, Zamalek allegedly it was around 28 million plus another offer for 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 Billiard from Porto de Angola or is it Porto de Athletic an Angolian club offered big money for Kama Billet, but Chiefs turned that down but reports are stating that um, Peter Musimani actually wants Kama back and he's willing to mend their relationship and other reports are even suggesting that Chiefs will be offered a money plus player deal. So I've heard reports of that billiard for 20 million plus Zwane or billiard for 30 million rands plus a few players from the Sundown squad. But I just don't see Kaiser Chiefs letting one of their biggest assets go to a rival club. But the funny thing is, I haven't seen Kama Billet in any of their post photos for the new kits. That's strange. Why wouldn't they use one of their biggest players in promoting their new kit? But who knows? Maybe it's, that, that's all up to the branding team. Other reports are suggesting that Kama Billet has already agreed personal terms with Mamelodi Sundowns. And um, Sundowns are allegedly offering him 10 million rands a year. But that makes no sense because I think Kama Billet earns round about the same amount at Kaiser Chiefs every year. If I'm not right, please correct me in the comments. So why would he move if he can earn the same money at Kaiser Chiefs? Um, that doesn't make sense. 
if you are moving to a club where there might be friction within the club and join the manager or the head coach Pito Musumane don't get along so why would you go back to that um but who knows um maybe Mamelo de Sundowns could be willing to offer Billy at a bumper deal and increase his salary but I feel like Kaiser Chiefs have the stronger position as Billy still has I think three more years on his contract and Kaiser Chiefs can just say no we won't let you go and Billiard will have no choice but to stay at Kaiser Chiefs. So do you think 30 million plus Tembazwane could be a good deal for Kaiser Chiefs? Or is Kama Billiard too much of a valuable asset for Kaiser Chiefs to let go? Um, guys, please let me know in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe and let's discuss Kama Billiard's transfer saga. See you in the next episode guys.